Hello everyone, I am Bichitra. Welcome back to the series of Life at St. Jean. Today, we have a personality who is not only an industry veteran with over 25 years of experience in discovery biology, but also an inspiration to a lot of women. Today, we are meeting with Dr. Jayashree Ayer, who is the Vice President and Head of Discovery Biology Unit at St. Jean. Let's go. Thank you so much, Dr. Jayashree, for joining us today. It's a pleasure to meet with you always. Great to see you, Bichitra. Thank you, Dr. Jayashree. So, you have been an industry veteran with over 25 years in discovery biology. How has your journey been so far with CG? Oh, it's been such an incredible journey here, Bichitra. You know, I joined about six and a half years back. And it's been a privilege to be part of this team. And it's been a great sense of responsibility as well to grow the science and grow the business. But above all, it's been a lot of fun because, you know, uh, I spend a lot of time mentoring all the junior scientists on the right way to do science as well as to bring in operational efficiencies for commercial competitiveness. So it's been a great journey. So in the last few years, I'm sure you have seen new technologies evolving in this area. So, so far, how has the biology landscape evolved over the years? Yeah, that's a good question, Vichitra. So biotech is growing at a very rapid pace. And if we don't keep up with that pace, we will become obsolete, right? So what we typically do is we attend a lot of conferences where new technologies are discussed. Then we read a lot of scientific literature, but above all, we listen a lot to our clients, right? And based on all of that, we invest in these new technology platforms so that we can become more competitive and keep up with the science. So that's essentially what we have been doing for the last 10 years or so. So Dr. Jayashree, which key research areas do you think the current companies across the globe are focusing on? Right. So we and other companies across the world are focusing on things like ProTac and related technology for targeted protein degradation mm -hmm. for small molecules. And then we have things like antibody engineering and novel antibody discovery platforms for large molecules. Then we have cell and gene therapy uh, efforts that are going on in our labs and other labs for allogenic CAR-Ts, which is off-the-shelf CAR-Ts to cure cancer. And then we have the omics platforms, the genomics and proteomics platforms for biomarker analysis, novel target identification, and understanding mechanism of actions of how molecules work. So a lot of work cut out for us, and we've been quite busy developing uh, such similar platforms so that we can be market competitive and be at the cutting edge of science in order to discover novel molecules that are in a more expedited fashion that can get to the patients much quicker than we currently have. That's quite a vast area. So Dr. Jayashree, since you mentioned antibodies and omics being a key research area, can you please share with us some of the interesting projects your team is currently working on, particularly in this area? We've been work, doing a lot of exciting work and without giving away anything client confidential, uh, for example, we are working in uh, novel bi and tri-specific antibody space for the treatment of cancer and for autoimmune disorders. Then we are doing some single B-cell cloning and nanobody technology platforms for other clients. And then, you know, in the omic space, we are working on using next generation sequencing to identify novel biomarkers for rare diseases. And in the proteomic space, we are working on target deconvolution technologies to identify the targets for a particular compound mechanism, right? And might I also add that in the DMPK space for small molecules, uh, we are trying to build entire end-to-end -end automation for the ADME assays so that we can actually be world-class in terms of our metrics and turnaround times by completely automating that particular work stream. So these are some of the activities that we are currently working on within Discovery Biology. There's a lot more, but these are a few examples and snapshots of what we are doing. Currently. But that's quite a lot of interesting projects the team is currently working on. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Jayashree, for such an insightful session today and also sharing with us your thoughts about the evolution and innovations in Discovery Biology field and of course, Sinjin's contribution in this entire area. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure, Vichitra. I had a lot of fun talking to you. Same here, Dr. Jeshu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us today. 
we will be back with our next video soon keep watching thank you